careful. I am here at Sean in the Xfinity Series in the E5 video game trying to lay down a decent lap. I ran a 29.7 with this, uh, which is I think is a pretty respectable lap, but it's not going to put you on the uh, all-time leaderboard. I think to even be 10th place all-time, you would need to be somewhere, I think, three tenths quicker than what I'm running here. Uh, but I knew that would happen. I knew that if some of these pro level and elite racers got in there, that my times wouldn't hold up. And that's fine. That's never what I was intending to do. Um, I'm trying to come up with setups that are good for the 99% of us that aren't elite level racers. These guys that are the elite level racers, they can set up a car that's really, as I call it, on the edge. It's very loose, uh, but it can be very fast if you can drive it that way, but you've got to have a whole boatload of talent to be able to run a car uh, that loose and keep it under control. Lap. If I haven't worn the tires out too much, I think it might work. Let's see what we got. Uh, 29 9. I'd really like to see if I can get in the 29 8s just to kind of be within about a tenth of my best. Kind of show what the setup will do. But I won't keep making you wait on me to down. get my groove here. about the line that I am using and then uh, and then go in and show the setup. So I'm going to back it down here, get out of the way of traffic. Um, I All like right. to take Wait a high entry into three. So I like to kind of be out near the wall, dive down in. I like to back it off fairly early. I am going to lift at about this black sign here and kind of dive the car down to the bottom. There inside, is a inside. hump, or here, Clear not really behind. a hump, but a dip about here that if you've got a lot of force feedback turned on, you can really feel it. But as you can feel the car settle, and you kind of, I like to let it roll through the bump or the dip. Then I try to get hard back on the throttle. And at this point, I am clear down near the bottom. I like to stay low. If I'm a little bit higher than, than here in the middle, I'm not too concerned, but I do want to be low coming off the corner. Um, when I come off the corner here, I'm trying to stay low, and I'm actually going to get, I think, way below the suggested line here, and I am trying to aim the car for that first part of the dog leg. I want to be right down at that white line when I hit that first part of the dog leg. And we're going to come through here, and when you hit this, then I'm going to try to do the same thing hit this second part of the dog leg but if you're going now. straight here you're going to get up the track in a hurry just because you're at the second Inside. part of the dog leg about this red or blue charlotte sign is what i am trying to come off the wall so to me that blue charlotte sign is really the start of turn one and then again i want to be back in the throttle early so i lift early this black uh Cup Series, Bush, Coca-Cola, Geico, all this black stuff up here that's advertisement. That is where I lift and let the car settle to the bottom. As soon as it settles, I'm mashing the gas. And once I start mashing the gas, now I am around here trying to stay outside. as low as I can outside. for the remainder of the turn. And then I try to stay low on exit. It seems like you save a little bit of time by being low on exit. So. That is a lap around Charlotte. Let's see if we can now go and look at this setup a little bit. So I started with the same setup I used for the cup and then kind of adjusted from there. Um, I went with a little bit heavier on the front weight and wedge, uh, which going up on those numbers makes the car tighter. Uh, it felt like the car was just more comfortable and more stable running that than what I usually run, which is a, a lower front weight and wedge. Um, the springs are pretty typical other than the right rear spring. The right rear spring, a lot of times on mile and a half, so I'm running 600 here. 
I brought it down to 570. It feels like by coming down a little bit on that, it gives you a little more stability coming off the corner, especially turn four. Turn four, you can get a little bit loose here. So by lowering that, that right rear spring, it seems like that tightens the car up a little bit. Uh, the tire pressures are pretty much standard. Uh, the sway bar is pretty stiff. I usually don't run a sway bar this stiff, but it seems like this is what made the car comfortable. I think the default is even like one click stiffer than this, uh, but usually I'm running about a 1.5 sway bar on mile and a half, so this is a really stiff front sway bar. Uh, if you are having trouble getting the car into a corner, you can go down on that front sway bar. Lower front sway bars loosen the car up, especially on entry. Higher ones tighten it. Uh, what else besides this front sway bar? The track bars, I went up pretty high on the track bars and that loosens the car up. Again, that loosens it up to kind of offset how you're making the car tight with the front weight and wedge. Uh, if you are noticing that when you are mashing the gas, it wants to get sideways on you, a lot of times you can adjust that with the right track bar. The right track bar affects corner exit, which is when you're under acceleration. The left track bar affects corner entry. Um, so, and higher numbers make it looser, lower numbers make it tighter. So if you're having trouble on corner exit with the car getting a little loose, um, I would try going down on that track bar a little bit. Um, what else? Man, I wish I had more flexibility in the gears. I almost went with a three gear setup here. I feel like you are just turning so many RPMs at a 3.25 rear end gear that man, it's just, it, it just wish I could go with a little bit taller gear, but if you go down to a 3.1, you're just losing a ton of speed. Um, you're just not gaining the RPMs that you need to really quick turn quick laps. So I round up the 3.25. You might want to try experimenting with a three gear setup and either run a 3.25 and making third gear 0.95 or run a 3.1 and make third gear 1.05. You might be able to pick up some more speed there. I've never really done a three gear setup, but that's what you should look at because you're really pushing the limits of redlining with that uh, 3.25 and it seems like you're within a few hundred rpm